So what about, what's the restoration movement? The restoration movement is a call to come back to the scriptures only. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different than the Reformation movement, which tried to to take what was there and then reshape it a little bit to be a little better. The restoration is say, let's ditch all of that. Let's start back over day one. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're trying to say, okay, so a lot of times we tell people, we're mem- they say, what church are you a member of? And we say, the one you read about in your Bible. Mm-hmm. And they're like, what denomination? And we're like, we're not a member of a denomination. Yeah. And they're like, what is the church that you go to? What do you call it? I said, well, the Lord's Church, the Church of Christ. And they go, oh, the Church of Christ. You guys are Campbellites. You were started by Alexander Campbell, right? Alexander Campbell was a preacher in the 1800s who literally was a Baptist, a Presbyterian, then a Baptist, I think. And he literally said, wait a minute, I don't read about that in my Bible. Let's go back to the Bible. Let's Mm -hmm. drop all human names. And everyone started accusing him of starting a new church, right? Or a cult. (laughs) A cult. Yeah, exactly. So let me ask you this, Scott. If I went out and started preaching and people started recognizing that what I'm saying I can show them in the Bible, and somebody said Aaron Gallagher started the Church of Christ, what would you say? I mean, it's nonsense. Why? Why? Because you can read about it in the Bible. Yeah, but I'm saying, why couldn't I start it? Why couldn't you start it? It existed when? Yeah, it's before you. Before me, yeah. yeah. Alexander Campbell, there are churches of Christ in England, in Ireland, in the U.S., before he was ever born. Right, and and, and that makes it silly, because you can look at buildings that have records that that they literally read the same. If you want to say that's the name, Mm -hmm. they got the same thing Mm -hmm. there. So you're trying to accuse a man of starting something that existed before he was ever ever Mm -hmm. born. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just foolishness. It's like if I accuse Tucker, or let's say I accuse John Piper of starting the Baptist church, and say that's ridiculous. It existed before him. It's the same thing with Alexander Campbell. I got a quote I want to read, okay? Alexander Campbell literally said, let's just do what they did 2,000 years ago and be what mm, they were. Christians. Is this the newspaper? Yeah, this is a yeah. newspaper. So the, Alexander Campbell's in New Orleans, and a local newspaper, acu- they wrote an article and said that he founded a new denomination, and Campbell was not happy about it. This He wrote a letter to the editor. This is what he said. You have done me, gentlemen, too much honor, he's trying to be polite, in (laughs) saying that I'm the founder of a denomination that's quite numerous and respectable in many portions of the West, technically known as Christians, but more commonly as Campbellites. He's saying, look, we're just Christians. People accuse us, they call us Campbellites, but we're just Christians, and you said I started a new church, a new denomination. He says this, I have always repudiated all human heads and human names for the people of the Lord and shall feel thankful if you correct the erroneous impression that your article may have made in representing me as the founder of a religious denomination. He says, I didn't found anything. I did not found the new religion. I mean, Joseph Smith is like, I'm the founder of Mormonism. Alexander Campbell says, I didn't start anything. Mm -mm. I just want you to go back to the Bible. So I always say, if I'm a member of a denomination, number one, I'll leave in a heartbeat. Because how many denominations are there in the Bible? Zero. It warns so much against division. Did yeah. anyone ever accuse Paul of being a, a sect? Yeah. yeah. Acts 24. Someone can flip there. Go read Acts 24.4 and then Acts 24.15. we got one minute left. In Acts 24, they accuse <laughs> Paul. Go, Go ahead. Notwithstanding that I be not further tedious unto thee, I pray thee that thou wouldest hear us of thy clemency a few words. Acts 24, verse five, 4. Five, verse five, five. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow and a mover of sedition among all the Jews throughout the world and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. That's they're calling they're Paul. Calling. They're yeah. saying this guy, Paul, is a ringleader mm-hmm. of the division, the sect, the denomination of the Nazarenes. Who's got verse 15? Is it 25, 15? 24, 24 15. 15. If you've got to go for it. All right. And have hope toward God, which they themselves also allow, that there shall be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and unjust, the way that they call the way they call the truth is it Acts twenty four fifteen. Uh, that's not it. Acts twenty four fifteen. All right, I'm flipping. I got ten seconds. Acts twenty four. I'm gonna get it. Acts twenty four fifteen. Acts twenty four fourteen. But this way, I confess to you, the way they call a sect, I worship the God of my fathers. Oh, yeah. They call it a denomination. It's the Church of the Bible. It's the God of our fathers. If Alexander Campbell started a denomination, then I'll be out of it in a heartbeat. Jesus built his church. There's many different names that designate to the bride of Christ, but it's all about being just a Christian. That's right. Jesus is the church of Christ. That's right. The New Testament church, the church of Christ, not a denomination, the church you read about in your Bible. Maybe we do another episode. We'll have to do another episode because we're over. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. 
Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Authentic Christian Podcast. This podcast is sponsored by the Gospel Broadcasting Network, or GBN for short. You can hop on the App Store, search Gospel Broadcasting Network, and you can download the app. And there's this show, many other great shows that you can watch or listen to. Start learning more about the Bible and uh, why we're here, what our purpose is.